Hey guys, it's Lily. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark. Uh, just started Mercari and Kitizen and today I have a part one of my Goodwill Blue Box five pound DIY jewelry. Um, stuck and go. I tried to put a video um, last night and I didn't have any sound so somewhere I screwed up in the editing. So everything is out, um, not everything. Part one is out, um, so it should be go a little bit faster than normal. And so if you give me just a minute, I will put you down and we'll just go through it real quick and I'll do the rest of it um, over the next few days. So give me just one second. Okay guys, um, I am back for like the fourth time. I tell you, I am just having fits with my videos this week. I don't know what the deal is, but anyway, um, I'm going to go through part of this jewelry and what I'm going to do is, um, alternate between the jewelry and hauls and, um, Ollie Bugs videos. He's got a couple boxes coming. So Friday, Friday is his birthday. So, um, I'm probably going to record his video Wednesday and just have it go up on Friday. Got a lot of stuff to do for him for a party for school and things like that. So, um, anyway, I'm going to kind of spread things out for you because I know three or four days of jewelry in a row may not be your thing. So, um, yeah, taking a break this week from Poshmark. Uh, as you know, there's a lot of stuff going on with Poshmark. They changed some things and... Um, our sales have tanked, so those of us that have worked our butt off listing and sharing our closets and all the things that they say we have to do to be successful, um, they've kind of taken away from us. So um, I'm focusing on getting the Macari up and running and getting Ollie's Kitizen up and running. And not worrying about Poshmark for a while since they're not worrying about us. I don't know. Um, it's kind of disheartening as hard as I've worked. But um, it'll work out eventually, I guess. Okay, so here we go. This is a Diamond International bracelet. It has got all these charms. And there's a little bit of wear, um, but it's still in good shape. My understanding is there's a little itty bitty tiny diamond chip above the eye here. I don't know if you can see that. So that's what they say. It's gold tone. It is not 14 karat, but there is a little shopping bag on here, a sailboat, a little sombrero hat, a seashell, and a sand dollar. Of course, the DIY International. A boot. Again, it probably looks like it has a little chip here. Maybe, maybe not. It's early. Um, but yeah, I showed you the shopping one already. That's cute. Anyway, it's got a little bit of wear, um, but it's a cute charm bracelet. I do with my measuring tape. So yeah, this is like number four trying to do this for me. So I don't know what the heck that's all about. All right, so it is say uh, safely seven inches. Um, um, I will do this for five dollars. Now this is a beautiful necklace. I believe this to be. How light it's got it needs to be cleaned um, but I just absolutely love this and I love the way this gold is encompassing the stone here chain is good um, there's a tiny bit of wear on the clasp but it seems like all, everything we get there's a little bit of wear on the clasp but that won't show the chain is good the pendant is great 
if I am wrong about the highlight, somebody please point that out. I'm looking for a gemstone book. I have a couple in my cart, but I'm not convinced it's the ones that I need. Let's see, 20, 34, 35 inches long. The pendant is about one and three quarters long and about one and a quarter wide. Um, beautiful. So I'm asking $8 for that. Anyway, any recommendations on gemstone books is welcome because um, I'm going to start spending a little bit more time focusing on researching the jewelry. Um, so I need a good book. A book that is easy to understand, easy to read, has pictures, got to have pictures. Anyway, here is another beautiful bracelet full of what I think to be, again, how light. If I'm wrong, please, please correct me. Um, it's a beautiful bracelet. It also has this milk glass beads, clear glass beads, and what looks to be their opalescent in color beads. And then like a bunch of jump rings. Now this could use to be restrung, not gonna lie. But it is beautiful. It is a beautiful bracelet. So the beads alone, I'm going to ask $8 for this. This is just gorgeous. But it does need to be restrung. If you, especially if you've got a larger wrist, I hate for it to break on you. Mine is a size 6. This bracelet is sitting at a 7 and a quarter without the stretch. Um, but this is just a gorgeous piece. Love it. All right, so this beautiful, like new condition, silver tone, not branded. I have rhinestones around the circle. Even the clasp is beautiful condition. This one is 17 inches. And the pendant, the circle, is about nine inches. I don't know if you can see that. That is beautiful. So let's put um, let's put four dollars on that. It's definitely um, fashion jewelry, but it's it's a beautiful necklace. All right, here is another one. Again, in good condition, silver tone, no brand. I see absolutely no wear on this one. No pearls and very long. It is 28 inches with a two inch extender. It is magnetic. Obviously, you saw me pull that magnet right along with it. <laughs> and it's got about a four and a half inch drop. So let's say um, $5 on this one. Very pretty. Nice. Here we have an Avon statement necklace, black, tiny bit of, I want to say scratching, but you know what, that's just needs to be cleaned. Um, so it is in beautiful condition, it does have the Avon uh, tag here, this is SP, SP. And Avon on the other side. I don't know what that means, but it's black tone. Excellent condition. It really is. Very nice. Um, yeah, really good condition. And it is. Give me an accurate measurement here. Seventeen inches with a three inch extender and the drop on this one is about three inches. Beautiful necklace. So let's put five on that one.
Okay. This is maybe faux leather. <laughs> okay. All right, let's try this again. It is early. I've not taken them out yet, and they're a little bit feisty in the mornings. I like to let the uh, traffic die down. We're next to a aluminum plant or something, and there's a lot of traffic in the mornings here, so I like to wait that out before I take them. Um, anyway, multi, one, two, three, four, five, six, could be faux leather, but it looks to be real leather to me. It's in good condition. Really cute clasp. I like this clasp. And it's got this silver tone floral bar across it. There you go. Um, really pretty bracelet. I'm going to put $4 on that. And it is... It's a small one. Let's see. I want to say 6, but let me measure it out flat. That's six and a half, yep. So there you go. That's pretty. Okay, this is a pretty one also. It looks like abalone. And it could be, but it looks like it's also got um, like an acrylic epoxy over the top. A silver tone. The back has some wear. Um, but it's got these silver tone tubular... Well, I call them beads. These are glass. Um, but it's not silver. I did test it. It is not silver. But it is pretty. I love this type of bead. It has a little bit of wear on the clasp. But it's pretty. Um, but I'll go $2 on that one. I guess you want a measurement, don't you? Gee, somebody's got to keep me on my toes. Because I am not on my toes. Uh, 16 inches. And that is a 2 inch extender. I'm going to measure that. So $2 for that one. Here we have a Twisted Sister bracelet. I did look that up. Um... It's a brass tone. It's about a seven and a half inch bracelet. The medallion says twisted on one side, twisted sister on the other. This will probably shine up, um, but it, you know, it's meant to look brassy. But it's not magnetic. Um, so four dollars on the Twisted Sister bracelet. Then we have this nice ring. It is not sterling. Um, it's got some wear from wear and it also has a sizer insert in here. Now it could be marked under that, I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm guessing it's fashion. It's a beautiful ring. See, it is about an inch and a quarter by right at an inch, and it sizes at about seven to eight and a half with that sizer. So, nice ring. So I'm going to ask eight dollars for this. I tell you, the more I do these videos, uh, the lower I put things. Like I had, I think I had twelve dollars on this on the first video, but uh, eight for that. It's in really good condition. The stone's in good condition. I doubt it's turquoise, but it's pretty. It does have a little bit of veining or coloration in there, so that's pretty. All right, this cutie I have seen. Deborah and Marilyn both get these. Um, I don't know where my cleaning rag is. Let's 
love it. Um, back in the day, probably back in my day, I don't remember them though. This is a little locket. There's a little felt piece in here, and I guess the women will put a dab of perfume on there and then just put it around their neck, and then they smell pretty all day. I did test this. It is not sterling. It does have some wear. Um, and it's got some scratching on the back, but it's still a very pretty piece. The chain is in really good condition. Yes, ma'am, I hear you. Just give me a few more minutes. Um, but yeah, the chain is in really good condition. So, uh, because it's such a unique piece, I am going to ask $6 on that. If nobody buys that, I'll probably keep it and try it out because I've never had one. And I think it's kind of an interesting concept. Okay, um, Chris, you want to know the length of that? She's literally get it together. Oh my gosh, it's just too early. I got to get this up tonight though, so. All right, it is 26 inches in length. Sorry about that, guys. Next necklace is this cute high heel shoe with uh, rhinestones, all different multicolored rhinestones, and they're all there. It is not marked, and it's got this just like beaded chain, but it is in good condition. Uh, a little bit of wear on the shoe maybe but maybe not I, it's just it's a cute piece but I'm gonna do two dollars on that it is really cute <sighs> tell me I measured it I bet I didn't you guys can just have a laugh with me tonight because I am just not with it I'm gonna make soap today <coughs> That is about 15 inches. But yeah, I'm going to make some soap today. I was looking on Macari. Of course, I have only jewelry on Macari right now. And so I was looking at all this stuff. And I couldn't believe the amount of artisan soap and wax melts and uh, sugar scrubs. And they've got really high sales. So I think I'm going to... Make some new batches of things and <clears throat> list a few on there along with my jewelry. Because right now, that's all I have on Mercari is just jewelry. I'm trying to separate them, but I think I'm going to swap a lot of stuff over until Poshmark can get it together. But, um, yeah, I'm going to list that on there. And, and I noticed everyone else that does it puts on there um, that the art their artisan items are not... Uh, discounted so that people know that up front because I can't discount my soaps when they take uh, a percentage of the profit so we'll see how that goes but I'm gonna try it all right I have these love knot bracelets I have two of them they're gold tone they're in excellent condition I've got the back here where you can adjust them a little bit if you're careful. Three dollars each on these, or you can have them both for five. And no, yeah, I don't know how to measure these very well. I'm just gonna try to do it. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't. Okay, they're sitting right at a seven. This, that'll work for these two. And they're both the same size, so yeah, $3 each or five for both. And then I have these beautiful bracelets, the gold tone with blue beading in excellent condition. I have all three. I will do them for $4 each or all three of them for 10. And they are about eight, eight, eight and a quarter, um, beautiful condition. 
Then we have this stretch, gold tone. It does have some wear. It looks like copper coming through, but almost looks like it's supposed to be that way. I don't know. It's pretty, the stretch is good. It is small, so it's some for a small wrist. I'm going to say six comfortably um, without any of the stretch showing through. Um, I wouldn't go more than six and a half on this one. Oh, and look, this was my in my Cupid box from Danny B. I have not taken it off since that day. It's good quality because I shower in it, I wash dishes in it, I work in it. I've not taken it off since the day I opened that box. Um, anyway, because it's got some wear, um, I'll do three dollars on that one. And then I got this. I bought this from Marilyn at Shady and Y, hoping it would fit this finger, but. Oh, my hands are swollen. Um, it was one of her sterling pieces on one of her latest videos. Love it. And then this ring came in this box and it was horrible. It looked like, it looked white. I cleaned it and it is just gorgeous. I don't know what it is. It's clear as glass, but it's cut nice. But you know, for all I know, it could be a topaz or, um, but I can't get it off because my hands are swollen. But for now, it's not for sale. Until I can get a presidium and test the stone. Because um, it's be it's a beautiful ring. Obviously too small for my fat fingers. Um, but it also came in this box. But it's not for sale right now. Okay. Here we have a collar. Uh, choker style. Silver tone nice clasp you can either put something on it or not I do remember the measurements on this it's 18 the outer is still a beautiful silver it does have some um, tarnishing like copper coming through on the underside um, but you won't be able to see that but I'm still two dollars okay, we have another misfit here these are sterling silver Um, I did test these because there's no other marking other than it says sterling. This blue did come through, but it was very slow to come through, so, um, but it did come through. There are three stones missing on this one, but I found all three of the stones. See them right there in the box. So... The stones are going with the earrings, and because they are sterling and they're beautiful, they're about an inch diameter um, piece signs. For those of you that like to fix jewelry, I'm going to sell those for $4. With the stones, I am not fixing it. You are. I don't like to fix stuff like that. I don't have the right glue. I don't have the patience or the finger pinch to do that. So... All right, this is a giving key necklace. These do really well online. This is the love one, brass love key. It's not magnetic. The beads are wood, black wood. It is stretch, the stretch is good. It's got the uh, giving key medallion right here, which is also not magnetic. Um, the key itself is not magnetic. Um, these sell for a decent amount of money online. Um, so I'm going to ask 10 for the giving key necklace. And it is 36 inches. And about a three and a quarter inch drop on the tassel and the key. Cute. Love this. These little beads are gold tone in between. And then we have this pretty silver tone bracelet. Now this, I tested it because um, it's a beautiful bracelet. It was spotty blue. So obviously there's a little bit of silver in this, but not. it's not silver. 
Um, but it's in good condition. It's got some minor wear. Um, it is a seven and a half kind of oval shape. So let's get it over my hand. I wouldn't go past, I don't know. I think it would be better suited for someone with a six and a half wrist, to be honest, because I'm a six, but I guess maybe my hands are big. I can't, it's hard for me to get it over my hands. Um, so let's say $5 on this. This is a really pretty bracelet. And we have a black and white polka dot plastic enamel, not enamel, plastic acrylic bracelet. Just $2 on that. This is in good shape. I like to wear black and white. And here we have a blue stretch bracelet. The stretch is really good. The bracelet's in good shape. There is acrylic and there's glass beads. Um, unstretched, it sits at about six and a half. But, you know, of course it will stretch. Um, like I said, I'm a six. That's a little bit big on me. Um, so I would say it would fit a seven comfortably without showing too much of the wire. So um, let's go $3 on that. These are cute. These are acrylic. Bright, beautiful pink uh, beads. Stretch. Uh, again, it's small, so say six and a half to seven. Yeah. Let's go six, six to six and a half on this. Um, Two dollars on that. And this is pretty. They are not knotted. I believe they're faux, um, but look, it's got two fasteners, and I know this is probably not even a necklace. I don't know what it is, but I'm calling it a necklace. Look at the, I love this closure. Like, it's like a pin going into the, um, it's very secure. There's two of them. It's in good condition. I think there might have been a little bit of wear on a few of the beads, and I'll check that. 24 inches. Um, yeah, just a tiny bit. There's a tiny bit. of, And it's not wear. Like, it's not, not coming off, but there's something on it. Little pieces. Might be a little bit coming off. It's very pretty. It's a very pretty uh, necklace or whatever it is. If this is something I don't know, please tell me. That is cute. Maybe it hooks on to a, a shirt, a button. I don't know. Um, but it's pretty. I like that. Um, let's go $4 on that. This is a really pretty statement necklace, and it is. I'm assuming that is Charming Charlie's. Excellent condition. Even the clasp is in good condition. It's a deep red. It's not a bright red. Gold tone. Um, that's what the back looks like. It's a very nice necklace. Acrylic. I'm pretty sure those are acrylic. I probably will check it with my teeth here in a minute just to make sure. <laughs> just because that freaks people out. But my teeth are sensitive and that's how I, I can, I don't like put it in my mouth. I just like tap it on the outside of my teeth. All right, 18 inches with a two inch extender. Yes, they're acrylic. Um, let's do six dollars on that one. Very pretty. All right, down to the last like six pieces. 
this is beautiful. Nowhere. Rope chain. A very shiny. has like the 18 karat gold look to it. There's absolutely nowhere to this chain. And it's so heavy. Look at these like lifesaver rhinestone. There's pink. There's clear. There's purple. Just gorgeous. The necklace is gorgeous. And the rhinestones are gorgeous. I'm going to ask 12 for this. It is just a beautiful necklace. And if you don't like these little things, you can always just use the chain. Put something else on it. But this is just beautiful. It really is. I just wish I wore more jewelry. Alright, so we got a 17 inch necklace here. Very pretty. It's bold, yet it's delicate. Very feminine. I love it. Love it. Most of these last pieces I really love. Alright, these look like pearls faux pearls but they're they're glass yeah. silver tone uh, findings just a beautiful classic elegant they're in really good condition no brand This is wearable uh, from 15 and a half all the way to 19 um, with the extender. So, yeah, beautiful set of just black. Looks like oh, it's kind of dented a little bit. But you can't, you can't tell. Okay, it's got some, some, I guess that's paint. It's not coming off for me. So, um, but you can't see it when they're together. It's just where they, they all meet. They're all, it's, it's painted, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's painted glass. All right. Um, let's do $5 on that. It's pretty. All right, this is one of my absolute favorite bracelets in this box. Nice faux pearls, all of these are glass, rhinestones, silver tone hardware. It is stretch, um, but it is gorgeous. It sits at seven with no stretch. Um, it's too big for me or I would keep it because I absolutely love this color and I love how shimmery and shiny it is they're fauceted all of them <coughs> so for this one I'm gonna do eight dollars on this one because I love it here's an acrylic purple stretch in good condition Size seven, um, one dollar needs to be cleaned. So one dollar on that. This is another nice one, a red one, silver tone. We've got some shell, we've got some glass, and then the silver tone metal beads. It is also stretch. I'm guessing a size seven, but it is pretty. Yeah, we are seven. Um, glass shell. Let's go two dollars on that one. <coughs> All right, and for the big ones, this is a. They call it an op art. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Op Art 316L Stainless Steel Cuff Bracelet. It's got all these rhinestones. They are all here. It still has the tag. It's new with tag. A spring cuff bracelet. So blues, purples, blacks, yellows. Um, it's just a really pretty bracelet. Very pretty. So the way it sits, I'm going to say uh, no more than a seven, six and three quarters to a seven. I'm a six and I have, I don't know if you can see how much room I have. So I think a seven would be max on this bracelet. Um, I'm asking... 14 for this one. It's a very pretty op art uh, bracelet, stainless steel. All right, beautiful. Look at all them rhinestones, and they are here. It is the oval, kind of eye shaped, so it's going to fit your wrist very nicely without flopping around because of the way that it's made. Gorgeous. Uh, size seven. I'm a six. I can wear it well just because of the shape, but a uh, size seven would be good. I'm going to ask 10 for this one. Beautiful. And there are no missing stones. I did check. And there's very, there is some wear on the inside, but that's to be expected. Um, but there's no wear on the outside. It's just a beautiful bracelet. And last one, another absolutely stunning bracelet. All those rhinestones with black enamel. This was also, uh, looked to be new with tag. Part of the tag is here. <laughs> now it's gone. Um, but it looks new. There's absolutely, absolutely nowhere. None. Um, again, seven. I think this could go seven, seven and a half max. Absolutely gorgeous bracelet. All right, we need to be quiet again for a minute. So I better get this over with and get them outside. Beautiful. Um, because it is new, nowhere, just absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go $12 on this one. Just absolutely love it. All right, that's it for the jewelry for today. I have a lot more jewelry. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna alternate the jewelry with the hauls, with Ollie. Um, and I ordered something different from Thread Up. Uh, it's not was not a rescue box. I ordered from the regular site, so I'm kind of excited to get that. And so yeah, I'll be seeing you. Even though I'm taking a break, a little bit of a break from Poshmark this week, I'm still going to continue with the videos, continue with my hauls, and. Um, work on the other platforms a little bit and let them, you know, they're not going to get any more of my business at the moment is what I'm saying. Um, other, more than what they've already gotten. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you see anything you like, please send me an email. Everything under a pound is $5 shipping. If it's over a pound, it's just going to deep in the U S it's going to depend on where you live and how much it weighs. So if you're interested in anything, shoot me an email and I will talk to you guys tomorrow night. Lily out.